Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today, I thought I'd play, you know, something a little different. Some Kumba Duel. I don't play Kumba too often because, I don't know, he's a little difficult. And it's very matchup dependent. But anyways, let's uh, hop straight into this game because my opponent has not picked their god. All right. We are up against an Amazenkov. And this is buffed Amazenkov. And it's a diamond Amazenkov. Oh, this is not going to be easy. All right. I think that we should go... Ooh, definitely need burst damage, but Kumba also needs cooldown. I think Sands of Time's a good start into Bancrofts. Now, what's nice is Amazon Cup does not have a CC Moon Alt, but this is still going to be very, very difficult. Either way, I'm going to go Sunder to try to burst him down. Um, I imagine it's going to be very hard to fight him until I get level 5, and then maybe I can do something, but I it definitely should have banned AMC. Uh, he's way too difficult to fight uh, now with the buff. He was already tough to fight, but yeah, now it's even worse. I'm not even gonna fight him. I'm just gonna go kill this hive. I think I should take the minis for this. Now, is he taking it? I don't think he is. Ah, he is. Yeah, this is going to be a tough matchup. I don't really know uh, too much about what I'm going to do in it. I'm just going to try to keep his hives down a little bit. It's really difficult as a guardian to do that, though. Oh my goodness, he does so much damage. Need to get to level 5. He's starting transcends as well. Which is kind of annoying. Okay. Yeah. Okay, he didn't even hit any of those autos. Come on, dude. Okay, I'm out. I believe he picked up his stinger. I'm going to sell my mana potion. Uh, tier 2 Bancrofts is way more important. Looks like he got red buff as well. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to try to go max cooldown with a huge amount of power and hope for the best. I mean, that's, that's all I can do, right? This is one of those weird matchups where AMC should win 100% of the time. But if I get specific, if 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 I get specific positionings with my ultimate and everything, I can definitely kill him. If I kill him a couple times, I can win. But if AMC plays everything right, he should win this matchup, hundred percent. My passive is completely useless this game, uh, unless I kill him first and then I go into my passive, then I'm fine. Alright, so here he's gotten all three buffs. Uh, I got the minis, which is not great, but it's better than nothing. Okay. Rude of you to do that. Okay. I'm slowed like crazy. Okay. Did get his beads, though. Did get his beads. But, man, are we behind. Maybe a Bancroft's Typhons type thing with Rod of 2D. I don't know. Definitely want the cooldown from Kronos Bennett, though. Kill some more hives. And of course, he's probably going to come over here to steal my blue buff, especially because he's vision of it. Because AMC hives act as a ward. So I'm going to try to save my one to get the secure on this. If I kind of need this. Okay, cool. Get some poke on him. That's good. 
Looks like he's not rushing defense, which is good for me. I actually can get a huge amount of damage here. I'm going to save my three until, like, last moment. There we go. First blood, just like that. It was very important to hold on to my three as long as possible, just so that he wouldn't get away. And just kind of waiting for my cooldowns there. I'm also glad I went Sands of Time, because if I didn't go Sands of Time, I would not have had the cooldown there to actually kill him. Okay, so let's get the Bancrofts. And we're going to reset. So, uh, even though I have first blood, I am actually behind right now. He has more gold, and that is because he is taking more buffs than me. Buffs are worth so much XP and gold, but that's all right. Again, we just have to have specific positioning. And if he makes mistakes, we can take advantage of that and win. Even though he's a diamond AMC. I will not be able to take this, but his ult is down. Um, my ult is down as well. Otherwise, I would try to kill him. I might try to kill him anyways. Let's see. That's a guaranteed kill. Nice. Good stuff. Good start. Good to be spamming our ults right now, especially since he didn't rush defense. Uh, I don't have enough time to take his blue buff. He will steal that for me, but I will go for the minis instead. Unfortunately, they got red buff, but that's how it is. All right, now we're going to recall. Um, I am going to skip my defense as well because I need to be able to one-shot him right now. Every time I ult and then use my 2 and 1, I need to be able to just do most of his health because right now he doesn't have defense. I need to take advantage of that. Plus, with Bancrofts and Typhoons, uh, I will have so much sustain that I think it'll be okay that I don't have uh, defense. Probably we'll go in Emperors or Midgardian. Again, we take a huge amount of damage, but my ult is almost up. Nice. Good. <laughs> I have used it by ult on cooldown. This is really good. This is really good. Okay. Let's kill this. Kill these minions. And then recall again. I mean, again, nothing is up right now. There's no reason for us to stay. Recall, get tier 2. And then go back. Now, he doesn't have mannequins. And what that tells me is he is going Bumba's Hammer late game on AMC. Which means he can auto-attack, place a hive, auto-attack, uses slow, auto-attack, uses two, auto-attack, place a hive, and so forth. Uh, I've actually never had to fight it yet late game. I imagine it's just awful to fight. But we'll find out. Uh, he did get Aussie, so I will need some sort of anti-heal. Okay. Kind of don't want him going for my, my blue buff. Good, I saved my ult. Nice, I didn't even have to ult that time. Yeah, so he basically did the thing where he cleared the wave and then went straight for my blue buff, giving me an option to chase him and lose an entire minion wave or give up my blue buff. So I just kind of chased him. I mean, I still lost a lot of minions, but that's what a lot of, I don't know, high tier gods will do. Basically force you to make the choice of clearing the wave versus losing your blue buff. And sometimes you got to give up the blue buff, which sucks. I will stay now because red buff's up. And I have full health mana, so... Oh, he left. We will pause for him. Just because, you know, we're nice like that. Uh, I will I will resume the recording once they get back. Alright, he did just get back. I guess he just had to restart his game or something. Should be able to take this red buff. I won't be able to pick it up, but... Good amount of XP and gold. Oh, man, you guys. I'm so hyped for Atlas. I posted a video about... Uh, about the first information bit of information hires has given i'm just so hyped for it and i think i should recall now because i'm about to get typhon's fang which will give me a huge amount of power but yeah i believe they're going to show at the time i'm recording this it is november 22nd they're going to show his kit tomorrow so i'm going to try to record that and upload my thoughts on that as well uh, let's go mid guardian i don't really like mid guardian but sometimes you got to do what you got to do also, I need to save Relic, otherwise I'm going to get Blink, most likely, or Thorns. Or even Horrific, honestly. Just 
just place a ward on Demon King to make sure he can't take that super fast. Just trying to clear hives when I can. Not going too out of my way for them. But it does help a little bit. Keeps his mobility and amount of escape paths he can take down. Could have maybe stopped his recall, but that's alright. Just going to clear up some more hives. Probably get the one by his blue buff. And I'm actually going to stay here because he's going to place another one most likely. Oh, he plays one over there. Never mind. Kill, uh, do some damage to him and clear the wave. Fortunately, with his defense, he does have a lot of, I mean, health and stuff. And he's not taking a huge amount of damage. Also, I need a Divine Rune for that Aussie desperately. I'm just going to go clear that hive again. Oh, he didn't place it over here. Where did you place that? Oh, you placed it here. Huge healing from Bancrofts and Typhons. And again, I cleared all of his hives on this side of the map, so he has a hard time chasing me right now, which is good. Um, I am probably going to have to recall. Alt is up in... 10 seconds, which makes me want to stay, but nah, nah, we're, we're out now. Alright. Ooh, actually Emperors. Gonna go Emperors over Midgardian, just because I can afford the full item. And it actually gives more defense than Emperors. 50 less health, but 20 more defense. And Midgardian passive's kinda meh. I mean, so is Emperors, but it depends on the situation. I like Emperors overall. It helps me dive him, and it, if he tries to dive me, I'm, I'm a lot safer. Oh, that was awkward. Now, since both of us don't have anti-heal, this is kind of weird. It's kind of weird for both of us. He did go Bulwark, which is good for my Sunder. Are you going for my blue buff? Gotta love that AMC pressure. How did you miss that AMC all? See if I can steal this, maybe. Oh, just barely not. Oh, this guy is pretty annoying. I have to give up my blue buff, unfortunately. I'm also going to lose my tower. That's just how it is. And he's just so fast. Makes it impossible to do anything. Oh, he went for Demon King. Well... Let's see if I can defend this. It's going to make my Emperors look real stupid once he takes that. But still, even then, I don't know. The Garden's passive is so luck luck lackluster. I just launched a minion to give him backdoor protections removed. He's not even going for me, man. He's just going for the Phoenix. Come on, dude. This isn't very fun. <laughs> dude, you missed me point blank again. I see how you got that diamond border now. Well, how my Empress is useless. But well, not useless. I mean, if I get a kill, I get more pressure with it. But and stats are pretty good. Oh, I missed. That's bad. Again, without my Divine Ruin, he can kind of stay forever. Which is problem. Wow, oh, come on, dude. I need to focus on clearing his wave right now. Oh, 
but I do very little damage. Little to no damage, actually. He sure is holding left click hard. This is the Guardian way. I'm 4 0, and he's still winning. Yeah, lately I actually stopped streaming Smite entirely. I've been only doing content for YouTube, and I'm a lot happier because sometimes I would queue Smite, I mean, and play Smite for a stream, right? And it would be four hours of games like this, and it just gets to you, man. So now that I'm doing mostly focusing on YouTube, it's like a lot less. Like, it's like I still get games like this, but they're not nearly as frustrating because it's like, okay, it's just, it's just that game or whatever, or I can get up after the game and just chill out you know but before it would just kind of be four hours of this so i'm a lot happier now that i'm playing stool less but still making more content for youtube i'll probably go back to stream and smite eventually but it is, it is a lot easier to handle games like this with my divine ruin i'm also in a lot better of a place now God. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's okay. All right, Mr. AMC. And you you ran away. All right, now you're going for Demon King. So now I have no choice but to try to stop you. But if I try to stop you, Fire Minions will kill my Phoenix. So that's pretty hype. That's pretty awesome. All right, awesome. They are getting and now Fireman has killed my Phoenix and it's basically game over because I won't be able to defend it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I have to dodge do more damage, so... Oh, if I actually defend this, this is huge. I mean, he'll get my Phoenix instantly once he comes back. But my my Titan is healing, which is pretty big. Um, I don't know if he'll try to backdoor my Phoenix or whatnot. I could try to go red buff here, which would be good for me. Um, we just need to poke him out as much as possible here. Because he is going to want to go for that Phoenix. I need to get his health as low as possible before he gets to it. Okay. Ah, man, he does so much damage. Got his bulwark. That's big. I got Blink because I'm kind of at the end of the game anyways. How unfortunately, I thought he was going to stay. He did not stay, so now he's going to back and counter my Relic by getting Horrific. Oh man. Five and zero, oh and still losing. Whenever get bored, me like to play. Damn, dude. I'm trying. I'm trying my best, but. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's game. GG's, man. GG's. That's the Smite Duel way. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but... Man. There's a, there's a reason I stopped streaming Smite Duel. These games happen every now and then, and I mean, yeah, I, I was literally 5-0 and lost the game because of...
AMC. Yes, I should ban AMC. I, I, I'm i trying to ban AMC every game now because of the buff, but you know. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.